Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a uh, timeless read, so it's for you whenever you reach it. So let's get started. I do want to start off by saying that I'm specifically asking uh, for this message to be for those who have heard the call and are on their path towards change. Okay, so those are those who recognize that they need to put energy into themselves. Um, those who are taking that leap of faith and making those tough decisions in order to bring in the change that's needed. Uh, those who are no longer blaming others for their circumstances. That is who I ask Spirit to give me guidance for today, okay? Because uh, there are certain people, they went ahead, they walked through those gates and they walked straight into the new world. And that's who I'm uh, asking for a message for in this particular message, okay? Please give me a message for Taurus. Thank you. Oh, Taurus. Oh. Hmm. The devil is here. Yeah, yeah, still, um, even those of you who are making those uh, choices, you still have something in your environment that's trying to tug at you. It's trying to keep you stuck. Something still thinks that it can uh, affect you. It's trying to pull you back. You guys have to be very mindful of your environment, what's around. I don't remember if I cut the deck, so let me go ahead and cut it. See, um, your overall energy is a six of wands. A lot of people are dealing with pride and ego right now. A lot of you, this could be your ego. Let me keep going. Queen of Pentacles. See, you're showing up here. This is knowing that what's for you will come in when it's time. Not doubting that you're going to get your victory. Okay, the Six of Wands is also a victory at the end of the road. So, not settling too. Some of you, you could be settling because you want something so bad, you settle. This one will not settle. Mm -mm. No, she knows her worth. One step away from Empress energy here. There's something trying to tug at you, Taurus. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. Y'all are still dealing with romantic um, situations here, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to really know how to use your power to create things for yourself. It's time for self creation. It's time to uh, take control of the wheel and start turning it in the way that you want to go. Some of y'all got someone who's able to basically keep you on strings. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, or you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I kind of... I, I feel like this is just trying to tell you that the walls that you built for yourself to protect you could be the same thing that's blocking you. Because I see that you're in your element. Like the potential to reach where you want to go is here. But there's something that you might feel like it's in your favor. It's it's not. It's not, and you may be putting this wall up because of a romantic situation you've had in the past. Some of y'all are using 
or uh, not using, but you're referring to a situation, an experience, or you use this experience as reference um, when it comes to relating to things that are currently happening or that will happen. So you may have had an experience, so you always refer back to that to make sure it doesn't happen to you again. So you're trying to guard yourself. You're trying to guard yourself, but the the method you're using is not uh, it's not effective. It's actually going to keep you still bound. Uh, I don't know if you've watched the movie Devil's Advocate, but it, it's like that energy because the devil is like an energy. That energy, if it doesn't get you one way, to get you another way. So if it didn't get you through temptation, it's, it's, it's going to get you through vanity. Or if it didn't get you through um, an addiction or a toxicity or something of that nature, it'll get you through your ego. Because your ego, I'm going to, let me clarify this. There's something about you thinking something is in your best interest and it's not. And this is referring to someone else. Could be a romantic interest from the past. Yeah. Um, someone from the past where there's uh, been fights, disagreements, a lot happening. I, I think it's the things you're saying how you say it, your stance, your tone, Taurus. You may speak before you think. Or you may be saying things without backing it up. It's something is, hmm. Let's, let me keep going. The magician is here. You're in control. You, you're in control. Okay? You are. And I, I mean, you showed up. The Hierophant, your belief systems. Yeah, you see, you're showing up again. How you see things. See, this method you're using may have worked in the past. I don't know. You, you might want to... Look at it again. Hierophant, tell me more. Why is the Hierophant here? Ooh, yeah. Something's turning you into reverse. Your, how you see something is not the best. The Empress in reverse. Some of y'all are... Overcompensating, stemming from an experience that didn't go your way. You, ooh, Queen of Pentacles, tell me more. All right, death. That part of you, uh, is it needs to die off, you need to transform. Some of you may be too rigid. It's blocking love from coming in. Okay, that's what it is. Your um, you're blocking love from coming in. You may not be in that place where you feel like you need to compromise or you need to be flexible. I'm getting this very uh, stoic energy of someone who feels like they're protecting themselves by coming up, showing up this way, but it's it's coming up as a blockage. You're gonna have to loosen up. Oh man, ten of cups. Yeah, some of you need to ten uh, to loosen up to get your ten of cups. Ten of swords. 
This is really coming from a, an experience that really put you, really put you down in the dumps. It, it really messed you up. Hmm. Two of Swords. Okay, so yeah, uh, this is causing a stagnation. You might feel like you not, nothing's moving. It's uh, it's because of a confusion that you have. Uh, some of you, there's like information overload, like thinking you know it all or feeling like you have everything you need to know concerning something, but you don't. It's a, uh, it's like you're in some type of extreme. It's causing a stalemate here where nothing's happening. Uh, you got to loosen up a little, Taurus. Yeah, loosen up. Have a good time. Enjoy life. Um, I know with the pandemic, many may feel like things are limited, but there's still options. Uh, you got to loosen up is what I'm getting. Some of you are too rigid. It's, um, that's what's causing this stalemate for you. Hmm. And a lot of you, you may not be experiencing anything concerning love because of this. So this lets me know you just went through a really tough time when it comes to a relationship. Ten of Pentacles, see? There is something on the horizon. Something that can be long-lasting, long-standing. This is your third ten here. Wow. You got to go through this transformation. Uh, the death card. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or another Taurus. Oh, man. King of Pentacles. Look at that. Your person is close. They're near. They're near? Uh, you you just have to you have to go through your transformation. Some of y'all got to loosen up. But this... There's a connection trying to come together. Here. Uh, some of you may be coming off as very combative or uh, confrontational or just uh, intimidating, you know, which in itself is not like a bad thing per se. It's just it's uh, it doesn't your heart chakra is blocked here, Taurus. And I know you all have gotten messages recently that. You need to, you know, step away from love. And I, I I, don't know if that's made you go to the extreme where you just block love completely. There's something about loosen up. You know, don't jump in head first, but don't go straight uh, like stoic to where it's not able to penetrate at all. You don't have to be at any opposite side of extre any extremes here. You don't have to be. Uh, find the balance, basically. Okay, because I feel like there's some kind of opportunity. Wow, this card came out real fast. The way these cards just jump. Um, work is need needed, necessary. Y'all got work to do on yourself. Um, I don't know if there's somebody who's trying to fix something with you, but you've decided to block that. Let me clarify the King of Pentacles here. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Hmm. High Priestess. All right. Look, your higher self. Listen to your intuition regarding someone because I feel like this may be someone who has kept a lot of secrets. They may have had a lot of secrets which made you doubt them. Anything else here? Yeah, that's what's causing the stalemate. 
some of you just don't know. You don't know what decision to make. You got this here twice, two of swords. You don't know what decision to make. You don't know how to move forward. Um, this person keeps you confused. Or you're confused concerning this person because of their secrets. So it this is really not about this person. It's about you. Because of your experience with someone from the past, do not block out love completely. Uh, be open to it, but don't make that your priority. Don't make it your priority. Because I'm getting that it's time to really just put yourself out there. Not with the intent of finding a person and that becoming your everything and your number one focus. It's just so that you can be at a place where you just, um, you're happy or you're feeling that your emotional needs are being met. But some of you may go to the extreme and that's why they kept telling you when it comes to love, take a break. Um, but don't let a past experience block in something that's trying to come in. Okay? Because I feel like there's going to be a potential for a long-lasting relationship with someone that's trying to come in here. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Hear the call. Judgment. Hear the call. There, There's like a warning call here. It's uh, the trumpet sound. They need you to hear this, hear this message. They're trying to tell you something. So don't close yourself out from love completely. Please give me a message. Wow. Creativity. Now we have creativity. And you know, this is here. Three of Pentacles. Your your creative side. Working with others. They're, they're wanting you to look at different ways of doing things. Hmm. Let's get another message. Effort. Some of you may have just... <laughs> I think that's what it was. Some of you have stopped putting in the effort. Take, take the lead in your life. Leadership. There's something about you taking control and putting in effort. You're going to have to really be um, thoughtful here in how you do things. You got to come up with different ways of doing it. There's a different way to do it is what I'm getting. So the way you're trying to do it, it's, it's not the best way. They want you to come up with a different way of, of uh, protecting yourself, but not blocking yourself out. So there's still some effort needed. This is going to really uh, basically put on notice your ability to lead or to take control of your life, number one, but of your circumstances around you. You got to be able to find that help, healthy medium, Taurus, and not and not go to any extremes here. Okay, I'm going to see if they want to add anything else and what else you can expect. Because there's something trying to come in. I feel like there's like a romantic partner trying to come in. But some of you have blocked it off completely. So let's let's take a look. I'm going to see what else you can expect and what to expect next. Okay. Taurus. We're going to leave it there. Um, so just keep... Putting in the work, 
Stay optimistic, stay focused. But you guys have somebody in your vicinity here. There's someone in your vicinity. All right, we'll, we'll see what else comes up concerning this. Uh, Taurus, I hope this was helpful. Okay, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. You're here again. The Hierophant. They're trying to tell us something. Tell me more, Hierophant. The way your cards just flip out like this. The cards have been doing that lately. There's something you're not seeing clearly. It's causing a stalemate. It's causing a stalemate. Something you're not seeing. King of Pentacles. I'm gonna let me clarify this because this can also be your energy. King of Pentacles. Why is King of Pentacles here?